cool one from the Indiegogo. Oh, there you go. Okay, it never like mind. Military issue. It's awesome. That's good. Anyways, um, so we're focused, We're still focused on beating this, this inside arm. Okay, we'll talk about the, uh, dealing with the outside arm later. Um, I really want you guys to focus on strategies to deal with uh, disarming your hip. Because that's going to be the one that gives you the most trouble early on is that one inside. So whenever, um, whenever I'm in my top position here, control kind of an underhook. Now, if, if it's, uh, as much as I want to keep this underhook as long as possible, because this underhook is a huge advantage for me, if I'm losing my position because he's putting a lot of pressure in here, I kind of uh, I kind of accept a little bit of a loss on my part in terms of my advantage, so I can keep my weight nice and low and keep my controls. What I mean by that is, if he's here and I can't dig in this way because he's really doing a good job of keeping his elbow nice and low, I'm going to go over top of it the other direction. So if his elbow is like this, okay, I'm either going to fall off this side or fall off this side. Okay, I, I kind of accept that I can't beat it straight on. So if I can't dig on anything like we looked at the first time, I'm going to go this way. So I'm either going to boop or boop. Okay, boop, boop, boop. Anyways, so I'm here. I'm trying to keep my pressure down nice and low. He's getting a lot of pressure on my hip here. I, I, can't, I just can't dig it underneath. He's ready for that. So since I feel like I'm going to lose this position, I'm okay with kind of leaving my underhook behind. Okay, It's not ideal. I'd rather stay in this position and keep it down, but this is me getting used to uh, kind of being fluid here and accepting I need to change my position. So I'm going to point this hip into his shoulder here. So this will like pocket into his neck. I'm going to go this way. Point it down into this hole. Now I get nice control because I get my weight down. So I'm here. I try to go this way, but he's blocking it. So I'm going to rock my hips the other way. Point it in. Dig it nice and deep. This is something I can do even if I don't have the underhook. But Jason's hand is here. Okay. He's got this inside. He's putting pressure up here. We try to beat this bottom off first, and then worry about the over the top one. Okay? So whether I had the underhook to start or whether um, it was popped out, we can look at both scenarios here. So if it popped out, he's kind of up over my shoulder like this. Okay, so he doesn't have to really grab so much, but he's just, his, his, his forearm is kind of behind my ear. Okay? So this hand. I'm bad, I'm asking to start while I'm like pinning me down. <laughs> so I'm here, keep my hips nice and low, keep my pressure nice and low. My, uh, my outside hand, the one closest to this arm, is going to loop underneath. So I almost, almost like I'm trying to, uh, like I'm trying to grab his sternum here. Okay, keep my head nice and low. I got my shoulder nice and tight. Come up with my toes. I'm going to switch my hips. So come up with my toes. I'm going to kind of like punch this mat, punch this hand to the mat. Turn his shoulder down here. Okay, one more time. It's like one of the first moves Sonny ever taught me. It's been money ever since for me. So here, can't dig in. So I turn, dig in this way. Okay. This arm's inside here, that's fine. Let's look at it right here for now. So I reach underneath his elbow, get underneath his elbow, try like I'm trying to grab his sternum, keep my head nice and low. Now I'm gonna come off my toes, I'm gonna switch my hip, I'm gonna drive my, my, uh, my right hip down, because I kind of pop up at the same time. This hand's gonna punch across his body. So I go up, turn. Here, up with my toes, pop up, and turn. Very strange coordination, there's lots going on at once. Once you get used to it, it's very natural, very powerful. Control the sternum, keep my head nice and low, up on my toes, elevate as I punch my arm across. Here, try to shut my shoulder at the same time. Now with his arm across, I can lock in my more. Get my fish. One more time. We're here. We're gonna look at it uh, one more time. He's this way. Yeah, turn this way, so I turn the other way, drop my hip down nice and tight. Do it nice and low. I use my, my wrist here, turn his chin, shoulder into the arm, elbow my toes, pop and shrug. He's gonna pop that forward. I'm kind of driving my shoulder into his arm. I'm sorry, Jason. Drive my shoulder into his arm as I go. Here. Boom. Driving my head nice and tight. Kind of tell my, my, my chest is on his shoulder, that's very important. Grab the wrist, grab the figure four. Step forward, pinch my knees, put a basic more right here. It's gonna be this kind of the same thing. All right, then I don't know if I do this. I'm just gonna just pull his arm through. Pull it here. And I can turn it. Turn us into a more. Okay? Yeah? Yes. Very critical eyes back to the